Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, Zoli and I are here at 40 High Country Road in High Country Estates in Weaverville, North Carolina. I have my friend Zoli with me. He's an early Christmas gift to my stepdaughter, and he was home alone all day today. He was winding in the van, so I had to bring him out and put him on camera. He's not my dog. Um, this home site, beautiful home site, 1.8 acres in size, very good size home site. Uh, we're probably three minutes from CVS, three minutes from Walmart. Um, very nice homes around us here. Uh, this community is mostly built out at this point. <clears throat> I'm not sure how many home sites are, are left in here, but not many. This is a long home site. Um, there's homes built on either side of it here. It goes down to the creek. The creek is almost a, a river or a stream. Uh, very nice creek. It is a little bit of a flood zone down there uh, at the bottom of the property. What is it, buddy? So um, you can't build down there, but you could certainly build steps down there and play in the creek. It'd be a lot of fun, I think. Downtown Asheville, probably 10 to 15 minutes away from here. There's new construction taking place on a home site further up here. Um, behind us is a very nice, I would consider it an upscale home. Um, and there are other uh, very nice uh, middle to upper class homes here in this neighborhood as well. As I say, very close to Weaverville and I think very close to downtown Asheville. I'm going to get behind the camera so that we can take a look at how this property lays. Uh, very traditional building here in the mountains. What is it, buddy? The ground does slope. It's a little rainy out here, so he's probably miserable. Um, the ground does slope down away. You would build a foundation, and then the back wall of that foundation would become your retaining wall to where you'd pull in. And then you're able to take advantage of that foundation by having a daylight basement or that lower level be a second level for living space as well. Let's go ahead and get Zoli back in the van, uh, as long as he doesn't whine and complain. And I'll get behind the camera and we'll take a look at the home site and possibly uh, down to the creek. He sees a squirrel down on the property now. All right, thanks. What is it? What is it? What is it? I did want to point out before we look down onto the property, we're sort of looking over the adjacent uh, uh, home here, but there are some nice, uh, I would consider it long range mountain views, uh, mid-level elevation mountain views uh, here sort of straight off into the camera. As I say, I'm not sure if we can we can see that or not. We'll go ahead and take a look down on the property. You can hear we're starting to get some rain coming in. Just wanted to show you we're at the top of the home site next to the road looking down. You can see there's a plateau down there that the property kind of levels out at. Um, that's where your foundation would come up. You'd have a daylight basement. You'd use the, your foundation as your retaining wall to be able to fill in. And you'd have, I think, a very nice view out there. You can see the property gently slopes up that way. If you hear a crying dog, that is Zoli. There is a home over in that direction. There's a home on the other side of the home site as well. Uh, very well uh, developed development in here with some new construction going on too. There's a couple of home sites that have been sold in here ranging from gosh I think it's 30,000 up to 65,000 and I've got to tell you this home site is uh, is I think better than uh, uh, than the one that sold at 30. Before we go down to the creek one last shot this is of the home across the street here and I'm a little weird with my videos but I get into the more of the behind the scenes stuff um, and oftentimes in communities you know you wonder how are the roads what are the conditions like um, and you can see these roads here have been repaired. Uh, cracks have been sealed, which is something nice to see. Also off in this direction, if you can see that, is another mountain that can be seen off in the distance. So perhaps from the front door of the house, you'd have a little glimpse of some mountains over there as well. Okay, let's go down to the creek. Oh boy, what a beautiful picture-perfect little location this is. We're down at the bottom of the home site now. This is the area that they reference to being in a flood zone. Thank God it is. You can't have, you can't have a creek and not have a flood zone. So this property uh, comes down to, from what I understand, the middle of the creek here. It then goes up to the right. Uh, we can't see in through. There's too much brush. I can see with my eye uh, the cream-colored house that was off to the left of the home site. 
uh, when we're up top looking down over in this direction. Uh, but where the camera is facing right now is the home site and we can continue to pan over probably in this area as well. It may be hard to see, but there's a great little plateau. Let's see if we can focus in on that just a little bit. There's a plateau up there that would be perfect uh, for some benches, for some picnic tables, clean it out, great little campsite. The main road is probably a thousand feet away here on the other side of the creek. So you're not out in the middle of nowhere. You're still connected to civilization, which is nice. But this is just a priceless, priceless natural amenity. And you can tell that I've always been a fan of water. Um, I love homes that have water, property that has water. It's a free recreation and a lifetime full of memories for you and your children, grandchildren, pets. Great place to come down here in the summer. Or if you wanted to practice a little bit of fly fishing, this would be a perfect location too. You can see here there's a bunch of sandy beach type areas where you could easily stand and do a little bit of casting. It's a great, great location. It hasn't rained in quite a while, it rained, uh, a lot of rain to speak of, so this seems to be a fairly steady flow in through here. Well, that's going to do it for me here today. If you have any questions, by all means, give us a call. I'd love to help. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Mm -hmm.